Today, we will uh, use the motion sensor to show how it can be used to control the speed of a motor and uh, through the motor, control the speed of the goalkeeper. We place the motion sensor here facing the kicker. Uh, so uh, it can sense whether the kicker is standing far away or close to the goal post. If it is standing very far away, uh, the input here will be zero, the motor will not turn. As the kicker gets nearer, uh, the motion sensor sense that is uh, near, near output a value to the uh, power to, to the power block uh, and this will make the motor turn faster, more powerful. And uh, this repeat loop will make the program go back to the beginning, check the value of the motion sensor again, input to the power block, make the uh, motor turn. Uh, but uh, I have added something here. I've added a screen. A, 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 a number screen with the motion sensor placed here so that we can see what value is being input to the uh, power block. Let's start the game. Click the start button. And uh, my hand is placed far away so uh, the value is zero now as i as i put my hand nearer it, the number increases to one the goalkeeper will start to move if i move it nearer then you can see the number increasing and the 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 goalkeeper is moving faster and faster i i put the hand further away it will stop because the value is zero. I put my hand nearer again. It will start to move because the value has increased. The motor will turn faster. Now watch how the goalie move as I move the hand. Far away, don't move. Move nearer. It start moving as I go nearer some more the goalkeeper will start moving faster and faster until I go to the maximum 10 then it will be moving very fast I'll show the uh, the screen. Uh, you can't see the uh, the goalie, but you can hear how fast is uh, moving. Yeah, 